Hi everybody, this is Sheila. Welcome back to the Crocheters channel. Today what I'm going to do is answer a few questions about the Bella Wrap pattern. This pattern, along with five balls of unforgettable yarn, came in the October's Crochet Kit of the Month for Mary Maxim. And I had a few comments um, about the, the pattern. A few folks asking me questions about the base and like row two, etc. And those things I'll go over with you. Um, so there's going to be three items and let's get to it. Item one is actually the size of the Bella Wrap. Um, according to the patterns as you see here, the wrap is supposed to be 19 by 71 inches long. It calls for a chain of 326. However, what I found in you made two, when you start this, if you do a chain of 326, you'll end up with a wrap that has a length out of 71. But for me, it ended up being about 80, 82 inches long. And so what I did is I reduced the chain size from 326 uh, down to 278. And then after the first row, I end up with 277, and that actually gave me a length of 71 inches. Okay, so I hope that's helpful. Well, let's move on to tip two. The second question I had was in relation how to get going on row two. Um, the directions um, can be a little bit misleading. And so let me show you what I've done. I've created a smaller chain here. This is only a chain of 13 or so. Um, for the first one and I've got my uh, single crochets in and I'm finishing off that row so I'm going to chain one and turn to start row two. So what I want to do at this point is I'm going to do a double crochet two together. So I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to go back into that first one, grab it and go through two, leave those two on my hook Go into that second one, pull through two, and then pull through three. And that finishes the double crochet two together. Now the next part is to do a small cluster. To do that, you're going to chain up three, one, two, three, and then right on top of this, in that space right there, is where that double crochet cluster is going to go. So I'm going to yarn over. And right here in that space, I'm going to go in, go up, and pull through two, yarn over, go right back into that space, pull through two, and then pull through all. And that's what it'll look like. It kind of doesn't look like it's supposed to be like this, but that is what it's supposed to look like. So I tighten up my little thing there. And now I'm going to continue on. And so the first one is two together, and then the next is a three double crochet cluster. So I'm going to go in, same process, pull through two. Then I'm going to go into my next stitch, pull through two. And then finally into my third, pull through two. I ended up with, I end up with four on my hook. And then I'm going to pull through all. And now I'm going to chain up right from there. One, two, three, yarn over, and I'm going to go right back into that space. Go in there once, pull through two. Now you can see the holes open. Pull through two, and then all. And now you can see that it starts to lay down a little bit. And so you can see this one here on top when I go into these next three because I'm almost done with the row. And you should have, when you get across, you should have two left at the end. And that way it'll make it match the other end. And by that I mean two chains left. Let me show you that this is actually what row two looks like. And it is the green row down here. I'm trying to get it there focused for you. So down here, this is row two. Um, and you can see how pretty it turns out. And there's a repeat of it coming up here. And you can see it's again up here. This is also a repeat. This is row two. Up here is row three. And you can see that there's three double crochets together. And this is planted right on top of the 
double crochet three together and so that's what's coming up for row three but you can see the stitch turns out really nice and then afterwards open then shows up here again the other thing that I want to show you while I have you is this when you guys get up to rows 15 16 17 and 18 this is what that pattern up there looks like isn't that pretty but me showing and the reason I'm showing this to you because I think the pattern might be a little bit misleading but showing it like this I think you guys already see the repeat right so down here where my finger is this is 15 this shell here 16 this is like a set row 17 and 18 so as you can see I'm alternating these shell stitches so in between here is two spaces there's a shell in the next row and then up here is two more shells it won't seem like that this is what you're doing with this pattern when you get here but if you keep in mind when you get into rows 15 16 17 18 that the end game will look like this with alternating shells then you will uh, be better on track and the reason it doesn't seem like it's doing that is because it has a lot of fives and by that I mean it's telling you five double crochets in the single crochet then chain five and single crochet in the five um, single crochets that you had last time and then single crochet and do five more uh, double crochets and it'll keep saying five 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 what's different on the rows is actually the beginning stitch but basically row 15 and 17 are almost the same and then 16 and 18 are the same here the difference is going to be how you start and how you end because it'll be like chain three one time it'll be a chain five and a, and a you know and a chain one another time but that's what it'll look like like i say if you keep in mind your end game is to alternate the shells then you will be in good shape i hope that helps everybody out if you have any other questions feel free to reach out have a great day